in today's episode we're gonna talk about the mixer so first of all if you load the init patch you'll see that only oscillator 2 is active we can see because it's highlighted and if we move to oscillator 2 or 3 they are grayed out that's because we'll need to unmute these oscillators from the mixer as you can see oscillator 2 is now active as well for oscillator 3. The mixer is a six channel mixer. The first three channels are dedicated to the three oscillators, while channel four and five are dedicated to the ring modulation. More about ring modulation on this video. And finally, we have a noise source. Besides the standard mute and solo controls, we have these rectangles that are used to route the signal to the filters. If we select the middle selector, we're gonna send the signal to both filter 1 and filter 2. In this specific configuration, let's use uh, oscillator 1 with this sawtooth and oscillator 2 with um, a triangle waveform. In this configuration, we're sending both signals to filter 1 and 2. If we want to send uh, oscillator 1 to filter 1, we can select this leftmost icon. If we want to send oscillator 2 through filter 2, we can click on this rightmost rectangle. Depending on your active filter configuration, which in this example is set to wide, which is one of the two stereo routings, the routing you apply on the mixer will produce different effects. In this example, we are doing hard panning, so oscillator 1 is fully left and oscillator 2 is fully right. If we change filter configuration, let's say we use S1, which is a mono signal path, we're going to listen both oscillators on the same mono channel, which is then spread to left and right channel on the output. The last control I want to show you is the gain knob. This is the gain applied before filter section. So we can use this knob to boost the signal getting into the filter section. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing, leave a thumb up and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao ciao!